With this, I'm attempting to show how I work on a large blank canvas diamond painting uh, as if it were a cross stitch chart. So up here we have the cross stitch chart in the Pattern Keeper app. And you can see the uh, larger um, dark lines here. Those are uh, 10 by 10 squares. And on this, we have also 10 by 10 squares. Now you'll see these red threads. These threads are here on the 10 by 10 square lines. Those um, lines delineating the 10 by 10 are blue. So it's easy to spot them when you peel back the, uh, the cover paper on the canvas. But um, once you start working on the diamond painting, I have found that they are frequently obscured. So somebody in a group had mentioned putting threads in there to help spot the uh, the block lines as you're working on it. And now I have to get this one back in there. It wants to escape. Okay, so these are my drills. This is my drill storage. These are uh, Harbor Freight boxes in this case. Each case comes with 24 of these little boxes. And I actually have four cases for this diamond painting. This is the Pattern Keeper app. Now what I can do here is this is set up in a 50 by 30 grid and my paper is pulled back to reveal the same 50 by 30 grid. So this is what I'm working on and this is the screen I'm working from. So if I hit the next one, I'm going right down the side. These are all in numerical order. The next one is 167. So you see those are highlighted in pink. I changed the color. The default color is a green, but I can see the pink more easily. So that's where I have to put drills on here. So I don't know if I can get them both in the frame at the same time. Videography is not my main skill. So we can see this down here. We can see this down here. This color, 167, here we go, is in this. This is my tray. It's a bigger one than the ones that come with the kits. I bought this on Etsy. So I'll just put a few drills, just a few in the tray, because we don't have a lot of this color on the screen. So this shows me this particular square here. And it goes over one, two, three, four, five. Five over on the top row of that. So I pick up one drill and I'll go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, the next one is diagonally across and over one. It's definitely a game of seeing patterns diagonally across and over one. Or if you want to count, as in counted cross stitch, you could count over one, two, three, four, and down one. You're not going to be counting any more than 10 in each direction because it's formed in these 10 by 10 squares. So that's it for that one. The next one, okay, so this, at this point, I can highlight these with my finger. This is a, um, it's a 15 inch Chromebook that's standing up like an easel. And then we hit this and it changes the color to show that those are done. The next one, we have three in that square. And if I pull this back a little bit more, we can actually see the square that I'll be working in would be this square here. And we do the same thing. So the first thing is on the right hand side of that square, one, two, three, four, up four. One, two, three, four. There was that one. Now the next one goes over two. I want to make sure to move my counting thread out of the way. I don't want to put this on top of it because then when you go to remove the counting thread, it's actually going to pull up that drill. So that's something that I'm careful to do. Okay, so that's that one. That's all three of those. So we can do, touch them, 
and highlight them or you can touch it and hold and it'll come up and it'll say select all unfinished highlighted stitches in the square in this case there's only three but if there was like 15 or 20 then yeah that might be a significant improvement anyway that's just one idea of how to work a blank canvas um, as a diamond painting just like a cross stitch